I want to be Janna. I want Zaya's talons around my back while I cook Rakan and knock her up. I hate being active while everyone's asleep. I don't because my fetish involves giving a sleeping person a blowjob to help relieve them in their sleep. Never say never Anon. Star Guardians share everything, including boyfriends. Nico is an underrated food adess. Perfect combination of curious and energetic. Endangered species, letting her knock you up is an act of conservation. Can spit roast you with clone. Can make her dick. The absolute perfect size for you. But more than one dick in a scene as Haram Anon. But they're both her dick. Caitlin. Big. Rifle. Imagine how nervous V is the first time she sees that bitch breaker. Imagine how much effort it would take to penetrate her and just how much of a wise grip she would have on your cock. I'd like Aurelia to sit on my lap to be quite honest. I wonder if she knows how to give a lap dance. I don't think she ever thought she'd love a man enough to learn how to give lap dances. But she's a graceful dancer. I'm sure it'd come naturally to her, and she'd be encouraged when she sees her lover completely entranced by her curves and moves. My, sorry Anon but Irelia is my wife but slut. Cooks you, but fucks Irelia. Comes inside, impregnates. She gives birth to a baby Ninog and flushes it down the toilet. What a wide ride. Who else here believes that teenage girls should be reserved for men old enough to be their fathers? It just makes sense because those men have already settled down and are ready to breed the very fertile teenage girls. Especially since high school girls are perfect breeding material. They're at peak fertility, but too dumb to understand the long-term consequences of letting a middle-aged man drain his balls onto their wombs. Most would probably get knocked up for dumb reasons like bumping AD to AC-. God I want to eat them out so badly. I bet they taste like fresh mints. I'm a lamb fan. You disgust me.